Hi, sir. Hi, sir. We were just talking about you getting this one and you got it. I did. The oldest bus in the fleet. Boy, it's got nice tape off. I, that, I told you, yeah. yeah that's right, you said that. I got it on a couple routes a couple of times and did it ever, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. How old's this one? Oh, that's a good question. Let me see. Oh, there it is. April 2001. Yeah. But if you actually look at it, it's, you know, if you actually look at the unit, it's actually the oldest bus in the fleet. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. How was your day off yesterday? It was nice. I didn't go anywhere or do anything. It was nice. I was antsy to get back at it, though. Yeah, that's right. What bus did you get on Tuesday? Oh, it was a 7700, I believe. I can't remember, though. Was it not 87 again? Um, I just can't remember. The days go by so fast. One day rolls right into another. That was a funny joke, because I, I can call them and tell you you want a particular bus. That was a fun... <laughs> yeah. This one has a turbo noise on it. Especially at idle. Yeah, that's right. Yes. This is probably one of the nicest 77 I've been on. One, the first one. Have you driven this once before? Oh, I don't believe I have. Oh, we're doing the whole route with you, by the way. All the way back to Bradlewood? Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. That's great. You're stuck with me. Good show. That's what I like. To and do. then I'll hop on a little later, maybe about 6.30. That'll be my last bus of the day. Right. Oh, I'm talking to Janelle on the phone tonight. Remember Janelle? Oh yeah. I'm talking to her on the phone tonight, so oh, I'll are? tell her you say hello. Oh thanks, yeah, please do that. This has a nice motor in it. Oh it does. This is nice. Really nice. Very smooth. Good takeoff. You can tell it hasn't been rebuilt in a while. That's right. Do they give you dates on when the bus is going to be inspected, or is it just random? Uh, let's see. Just give me a second. No, it's not random. They keep track of it in the garage, and then every once in a while when it needs to, they'll do. Do you think this will be the first one that's retired then? It might be. Yeah. Two thousand one. We're getting into what? Twenty years. But they, uh, yeah, they track everything. That's how they know how to do the brakes and the transmission. The this motor. transmission is pretty smooth, and it's the oldest bus in the fleet. Well, I like the pickup on it. Some of them are in January, so they're technically older by months. But this is technically the oldest one. That's right. I got 7501 on my channel too, right? Audio recording. Okay. That was the first low floor bus you guys ever had. That's right. What did you end up doing yesterday? Ah, oh, let's see. Didn't do anything. I didn't even take the garbage out. I, uh, I took that out today, but uh, I just relaxed. Oh, I, 
found out the other 12 today. I went on the website to see what was on the other 12. Right. 7931. Have you driven that one? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yes, definitely driven that one. 7954 is it on the Route 11, I think? 54 I got on route 12 when you were off of work like when you had to go get oh, okay. your witch you call done it, I got on that one right oh man and on MT today which is the max tail line there's three 79s on there today which is very rare oh yeah these probably didn't get used yesterday. No, that's right. But you want to know something? A four-car train was out, eh? I saw it. Oh, I was going to Five Guys. Earlier today. Yesterday. Yesterday. Well, yesterday. On Remembrance Day, which I find that kind of weird. Well, yeah. They don't need four-car trains on holidays. The brakes on this one are pretty um, good. Oh, they're great. Really nice. Really nice. We were just talking you about getting the oldest new flyer, and now here it is. Can you believe it? The motor on this thing? Man, I wish you could take this on Deer Foot, eh? Have a little fun with it. I would love to try it out. You know, 133 Cranston Express goes there. Oh, okay. Have you driven? You've driven the expresses, but probably not that one. No, the down that's right. The downtown. Yeah, no, that's right. The condition on this bus isn't bad. No, it's very nice. This one's running pretty new if you ask me. That's right. You can feel the transmission a little bit, but not really. That's right. Yeah. That's the second time that's done that. Well, I have no way of gauging the light. Mm. It's a flashing hand. You need a countdown on it. And the countdown has to work. It's no good for Talk about good brakes, eh? You stopped right Very away. Good. God, I hate when you're on the bus and that happens, though. Yeah, it's annoying. Oh, have you had the detour today? No, no. No, not at all. So I saw the sign for that testing on Bannister Road. And it said 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. But by appointment only. Luckily, the last few days have been okay. That's, that's Were you a, shocked not to see me at Shaughnessy today? Uh, no, no. I knew you'd be up here somewhere. Man, I love the sound of that motor. It's nice. Really nice. See what I mean when you shift? You feel it when you're down shifting a little bit? Yeah. But otherwise, it's pretty smooth. That's right. What do you say? This one has been built at least three times, rebuilt? Oh, yeah, that's right. Three to four times, yeah. But they keep track of it. They know when to do it. And if it needs it. This one has probably the... Uh, um, thousands of gallons of diesel, I imagine. Yes. How are you? Hi. Oh, hi. How are you? Did you tell me some time ago you were retired? Oh, yeah, end of January. End of January? Yeah. Okay. And that was 49 years ago? Uh, yes. Um, the end of January, and actually it'll be more than, um, November 24th, I start 40 years. Oh, wow. And so, and officially, uh, when I, the end of January, I will go on holidays for seven weeks. So officially, they'll still take me until March 19th, right? March 19th. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, I didn't realize, I forgot about that, so I'll actually have, uh, 
let's see, November 24th, so that's one week, so then December, January, February, and three weeks in March and the one week in November, so I'll, I'll actually have December, January, February, and so four months. Four months. Four well, months. I, knew, I knew November was a milestone, I don't lie. Yeah. yeah, four Very months good. to the 40 years. Good. So when are you taking vacation? Uh, well, I'll be in the January, February 3rd, I'll start my vacation. Yeah. Well, I wish you well with everything, George. I'll take a couple bus photos if I get your email, send them to you, the 77s I've been on. Take a couple pics, and my phone is great with that. So, you know what happened? Um, my anniversary date, it should have been the end of August, that's when I trained out in 81, but in um, let's see, that would have been in 2000. You told me this um, the other day, yeah. yeah. In, in 2000, we went on strike and we, we broke the record for the longest strike in transit history. <laughs> it was 47 days and we were on strike, 49 days. Wow. So it moved me up to November 24th for my anniversary. So in, t in 2000 you went on strike, would you this... Would you guys just be getting these in, right? The 77s? Well, this is a 2001. Yeah. Or they were being built still then, right. some of them, right? Yeah, that's right. If you wanted, you could leave this 7701 going for 10 more years if you wanted to. Yeah. But the rear and tear by then, after 30 years, would be so great. Well, that's the thing. You can only replace parts for so long, unless you rebuild the whole thing. What did you have for dinner last night? The one in Sandwich there by Rundle LRT. Oh, okay. In the northeast there. Oh, uh, what was the name you said? Uh, Five Guys Burgers and Fries. Yeah, but where? Sandwich. Where are these lights? Man, you're having to stop. Yeah. I'm not impressed. They should have timing on them. Did you say Sandwich? Sit. Sandridge, like Sandridge Mall by oh, there. Where is that? I've never heard of it. It's in the northeast there. It's by the only Chuck E. Cheese is left in Calgary. Oh, there's still one Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Wow. I'm surprised they didn't get on your bus. Yeah, well, she lives in Everidge, but she lives, uh, like closer on the 11, it's faster to get off on the 11. Yeah. How is um, Cliff doing? Oh, not so good. The basement isn't developed yet, and he's only got one plug in. Uh, he's got a plug in the basement, and he's overloaded the circuit breaker. So it went off, and when it went off, it, um, the fridge stopped running, and then every, the ice box melted, and then ran over the cupboard brand new cupboard in my daughter-in-law's uh, house duplex. Uh-oh. Yeah, she wasn't too happy. Either was he, right? It's, well, it's not Cliff's fault. He's only got one plug in. He didn't know he was overloading anything. It's just one of those things. So what now? Uh, well, she's having somebody come in already this quickly and fix the cupboards. And she's going to tell him that he can't plug anything in, basically, almost nothing. The basement isn't developed yet. Which kind of sucks for him. It really does, yeah. Talk a guy that hasn't had any luck a lot of times, it's been him. 
Yeah, that's right. No way, shouldn't have not. That's why when he stays at your place, you know, he's kind of got the freedom, right? Yeah, that's right. Of getting up and going to work with you if he wants. Yeah. You probably thought of us talking about this when you got this bus, eh? That's right. I'm like, imagine if you got 7701. Yeah. Wow. I guess I was right then, eh? Yes, that's right. 7731 didn't have any pep to it. No, that's right. Imagine if they bought hybrid one of these, what that would sound like, a hybrid? Yeah. Diesel electric motor, wouldn't that be something? There's 7730 on my channel now. Have you driven that one? Yes, I have. How is that? Um, a lot of these buses I can't remember very well how they are. I just remember the number. You remember 7732 very well. Oh yeah. Um, most of them are okay. If I can't remember anything about them, then... Oh, but 87 was more than okay, eh? That's right. You loved 87. Uh, yeah. Could you take that bus home with you if they let you? Uh, no, we've got a small complex. It would be very difficult to get in and out of. No, but if you had a nice big garage, you could fit it in there? <laughs> You have to have a lot of money to have a, a mansion with a big truck. You know, bill garages that are old 40 foot buses. <laughs> well, wouldn't that be something? You take home any of your favorite buses from 18. Oh, and you could take home 7841. Oh, uh, yeah. And then. If you had an acreage, it would be easier. Man, you could get a lot more life out of these. But you would have to ask Transit to give you a bunch of parts, right? Uh, yeah. I'm going to track 7754 and try to get on it later. I don't have that one yet, so... All my 50 series are almost done. I'm only missing 4 or 5, maybe 6. Thanks for another ride today. Yeah, you're very welcome. 
You haven't gotten any 79s lately again, eh? No, that's right. All of a sudden they stopped. Vic Perk must take you as like, oh, let's not give it. Well, you've gotten some nice 77s though. Oh yeah, not that. Oh, 87, you fell in love with that one. Yes. This one is great. I'm really happy with this one. A lot of torque out of the engine on takeoff. Alright. Hello, Derek. Where are you going out to? Mackenzie there? No, Copperfield. Copperfield? Yeah. yeah. That was far. Yeah. That's yeah. How's it going today? Pretty good. Yeah. Good. Good to see you again. It's, I recognized you. <laughs> right away. How was the school students today? Good. I guess, yeah, they're all right. Hyper because Christmas is almost coming up. Yeah, not hyper yet. Not hyper oh, yet. but on the lot, December 19th, December. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. Don't give them work that day or they'll be <laughs> cranky. You know this is the oldest new flyer you're on? Oh, yeah. By the number there. First 7,700. How many buses are there? Did we start out with one? Um, of these series, there's what, George? 99 of these? I really wouldn't know, but something like that. Be there would have to be because you start with the 78s. Oh, he had a nice bus the other day, boy. It was a 77, but I think they just rebuilt the motor and stuff. And like when when he was shifting, you couldn't feel the transmission. I had one that was coming home from Copperfield last night. They kept shutting down. Like every couple of bus stops, oh, it was wow. shut down like wow. completely, and it'd be, I'd be completely in the dark. And I'm like, okay, what's going on here? <laughs> was it one of them seventy nine? Well, I never paid attention to what the bus was, but um, you made it to the station. I made it to the station. I was worried about twenty two X. Yeah. Right? Thinking, oh my gosh, it's gonna break down It was thing. like them GMC Jimmy's, George. When you go on Deerfoot, don't they shut down on you if you overspeed? Well, they got the governor. They just won't go any faster. Any faster, yeah, yeah. So, what happened? Did the engine just keep quitting and it would. No, he would shut it down and then he'd go outside and check something and then he'd come back and I'm like. Okay. You can tell he looked frustrated. Something was, yeah, something was wrong. I don't know what. If it was. it was a '79, I would have said, "Oh, I've seen, I've seen a few broken down '79s lately." Yeah, yeah. like I said, I didn't pay attention to the number. Yeah, I should. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we're down the road. We're lucky. We're. I'm not even gonna say anything about this one quitting, else we're gonna jinx ourselves. Yeah. Nice motors and these these motors can go for a long time. So do they rebuild the motors or do they just replace the motors? No. Them? Um build them every three to four times. Okay. An odd an odd fifth time if the bus is in really good condition and they want to get extra life out of it, they'll rebuild it an odd fifth time. Yeah. But it's normally about three or four year limit. But if they have any spare parts, they will. Yeah, if it's not too bad. Either. But they might have to keep these around for a little longer just because they may not have money to replace with all new buses. I find our new buses really lack power that these don't. What about the green line? Is that going to be like a bus or is that a train? Train. Is that a train, eh? Who knows when that'll get done. So uh, so tell me what he was anything leaking or I I don't know. Like I say, he just shut the, the, the bus completely off. Went outside, looked. He was talking on the phone to somebody. Mechanic. And he looked at something by his. Uh, I'm guessing the wheel, this wheel here. Oh okay. Yeah, and then he, you know, check it out for a couple minutes. He come back, start back up again, drive away. Do it again a couple of more times. Did he have to go off when he... Completely. He shut it completely down. Lights no, up no, power. but did he have to put the out of service sign no. up when no, you got to the station? Um, I didn't check that. I didn't... No, actually, no, because he got me home. Because I... Oh, actually, no, I would have gone off at the station and checked for another bus. So I don't know. 
What bus did you take? Um, so from the LRT, I'll take the um, 78. That's a small bus there. Yeah, at night time, yeah. You'll get lucky if you get a bus at 6.30 at night, eh? a big one. Yeah, right? Some of them are still out at that hour. Like the max lines, you have to keep the big bus on. But did you hear these don't get used on holidays? No. These 77s? They're older and there's not enough ridership for them to be out. George, even the ridership's still quite down, I'm glad they're using these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the ridership's gone up a substantial since uh, school started, eh? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if we ever have Stampede, then it'll really go. Yeah, I mean, I Maybe the last 80s trains we'll have left will finally get a steady 10 days of work. But I mean, if they do, the old one will be out, a couple of them. But they have to run the old ones for like 8, 10 hours a day during Stampede. They have no choice. Hmm. So if they break, they break, right? Yeah. But Transit tries to minimize their use. They only use them if it's really busy now. I think the train was more popular, hey? Fused them on age, I'm right? Surprised. That can be a legal sweep then if it's only one got one plug. You think, you know? Well, it's not developed, but there are two oh, nice windows why. in it. But you think they'd have some much plugs? You would have to if you, you have other ones in the house. How about if you got to charge your phone? And what if the place catches fire? You need your mo phone to call 911 if there's a fire somewhere. Yeah. That's why it's always good to have a landline. But even the landline cuts out sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes it's a chargeable landline, so that's why it sucks. Oh yeah, the hand, the, yeah. They should always have one that's plugged in, just in case. But what I like about these smartphones, there's an emergency call mode, eh? You can, without logging in, you can dial the number. Were you uh, off to getting off at Fish Creek or no? I go further, I go to the school. What school are you going now? be COVID, but what if it is, right? That's right. So yeah, usually when you're calling sick or something, you're off for about a week, which is unfortunate. If, if it's like 24-hour flu, I normally take a day off till I'm feeling sick and sad. But for jobs, they expect you to come back with a, a negative COVID test. Yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense. Sadly, but... Sir. Yes, you're very welcome. Can I lower that for you? Oh, no, no. Alrighty, you take care. But I think there's two. There's two companies that have, um, they're in good stages of getting a vaccination. Just a matter of time now. we got to get somewhere, right? This is yeah. going on. There's, well, there's two that um, are in the, the testing stages right now. Yeah, um, I think you percent Yeah. We got to get somewhere. This has gone on too long, eh? Yeah. And then, uh, 
eventually, if we do that, transit can get back to normal service again. Like, I mean, normal, normal. Well, trains during rush hour can arrive every five minutes. Yeah, it's hard to say if it's everything can go back to normal. And it would be nice to have the university students yeah, back. They want that back, yeah. That's why they bring the it's old that. trains out, because that university station, you're normally packed. So if the old trains break down during the run, oh well, why do you do? Gotta use them to every last bone. Now they only use them every now and again. I guess sometimes an employee asks us for one just to drive because they haven't been driven in a while. So even now they pair, well, um, you know, use them, you know. For an extended period on a day, maybe, but not very often. You're right, George, that's 54. Yeah, that's what I thought, It's actually a pretty warm day if I, you yeah, know. It, is. it warmed up. Hey George, they said it was only supposed to be zero, but it's actually a little warmer than that today, which yes, is nice. That's right. And my phone said minus 13, but I don't believe it. They're lying. Yeah. Well, that's because you don't have uh, Wi Fi. No, this was at home. Mm. In my house. Before, I always check the weather before I leave. No, but when I got up, it was like it's zero already, so. Yeah. Maybe I gotta update the app. So do you do schools, uh, uh, a lot of couple schools per day, or just one? Uh, well, I'm only allowed three cohorts. So I'm only allowed to be in three places at one time, like, to share myself, you know? But that's so nice. Minimize uh, the spread. <laughs> the, I mean, you know what? Yeah. But that is nice, yeah, eh? So you just get to have... Yeah, so just the three of them. For two weeks. And then I gotta take a break, and then I can go to other ones. Kind of thing. So we need, like, something like that, just in case I do get sick, you know? And you can take a break. Bre and then someone can fill in for you that hasn't done... Yeah, well, the one girl, she was very sick. She's back now, so that's good. So I won't be there for a while, hopefully. Knock on wood. Kid in Toronto, wasn't that sad? He, the other day he was walking down the street with his mom and gunfire erupted. Oh. It was the same location where they'd have gun uh, shootings before and he just died in the hospital. How Twelve years it? old. And oh. he was only walking down the street with his mom. Right? Now they're charging those people. They've got two out of three suspects. That's good. And yeah, uh, but it goes to murder now. Wow. Yeah. No. 12 years old, walking down the street with your mom. Mm -hmm. that gun you count your lucky stars every day. Yeah, okay. that's right. There's another 8,000 series, George. Oh yeah, that's right. So when were those built? Um, 07, 08. Okay. A couple of our very late 79s were too. I'm not surprised that this one has over a million kilometers on it. Really? That's a lot. But I, I mean, you're, you sometimes you're doing yeah. different routes from the garage every day, right? Yeah, oh yeah, all over the street. Yeah. Like this was on 11 once a couple weeks ago, remember? Yeah. Yeah. And then you had... Darn, I can't remember. I think it was 19. I don't know, but they're awfully impatient. Maybe someone changed or changed lanes or something. I don't know. I didn't notice anybody at home. 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 
my bus license and before they retire this one if I ever had a bus license this is one of the ones I would buy. George, I love when you go up the hill, eh? You can really feel the engine pulling. This one does. Oh my god, we had one though, it was 7731. Tell her about that one, George. Could barely get it going up the hill. That's right. I think it might have been. On the corner, yeah. I think it might have been Tuesday more. Really yeah. Scary. Oh my God, we got heavy snow too. And they were only gonna say a, a, a maybe an inch or two, yeah. maybe not even an inch. We got a good few inches. Yeah. It was taking a long time coming. Yeah. Oh. Southern Saskatchewan. You see them from that one storm. Yeah, they always get it rough, hey? Manitoba, too. Yeah. Well, they, got, they seriously got it down southern Alberta, not that far from us. Terrible, Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, they showed pictures because we were on a little fish. Yeah, we were didn't there. even get, yeah. we didn't even get the worst of it. We weren't even that close. It's funny how sometimes they get worse weather than, the, than we do in the north, you know? Yeah. It's funny how that's just the way the... But the north is custom yeah, to that, right? Yeah. Like my aunt, my aunt lives in Red Deer. They can get 40, 30 to 40 centimeters, and we only get like 10 or 20. Or it's the same thing in Edmonton, though, too. Edmonton's bad. Oh, but when it gets cold here, it gets cold. Oh, but for that one week cold snap, I can hardly get my engine going and. I'm like these diesel buses, it's the same thing, like you can't propel your muscles, right? Yeah. Like from the cold, your muscles almost ache, they're that seized up. Yeah, I get that nice hot bath. I find showers help on a cold night, I do mine before bed, so. Yeah. are worn out normally they play an 82 game regular season and if you make the playoffs and do the whole run to the Stanley Cup and win it that's like 28 more games over a hundred plus a year for some of the teams it's the same thing with these buses leave them going for 40 years the rear and tear them really old buses, some of them almost went for 40 years though. Them Jimmies, the last few. George, you, they, the Jimmies didn't get used a lot after rush hour, eh? Well, depends on what year you're talking about. The really, really old jimmies, like the 900s, they didn't get used a lot after rush hour. Well, what year are you talking about, though? Like, I mean, what year? Um, 79, 80, something oh, like that. 79, 80, they were all jimmies. They used them all day long. There was no other buses. No, but I mean towards the end of their life when we oh, had these. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, good to see you yeah, again. Take care. Bye.
Yeah, towards the end of their life, they only used them during school runs. Well, they had other buses in by then. Yeah. A lot of other buses. The, oh, you know what the, some of them were replaced by? Excelsiors. The last couple. Oh, okay. 2013 14 new flyers, I believe. You know, when I see these buses on every now and again, sometimes they put a 77 once on a while on Route 3. Isn't that funny? Yeah, that is. Or on one, you see them on Max Purple, too. This has got great takeoff, eh? Oh, uh, yes. So someone coming in today to look at the coverage, you said, eh? Yeah. Probably be dark by the time I hop back on your bus. Okay. Yeah, that's Marshall Springs entrance to Fish Creek. Okay. But that's Marshall Springs School over at Everbridge. I don't know who that is. I've been meaning to look that up and get some information on that, but I keep forgetting. What a nice bus this is, eh? Very nice. Did you manage to turn the speaker down on the bus you had on Monday when we were talking? I tried, but it didn't work too good. This one, it's really quiet. It's actually perfect. Yes, it is. Couldn't ask for a better day to be driving the bus. Oh, that's right. It's a beautiful day. Oh, I'm glad I wasn't out on Tuesday. It was pretty stormy. Pretty snowy in Chestermere, eh? Right. Did you get big flakes where you were early in the morning? Uh, huh. I don't know. I was in bed. Yeah. <laughs> I go to bed about 4 or 5 in the morning. Yeah, I went to bed about 3.30 that day in the morning. Sometimes it's earlier though, 2.30. George, when you went to bed at 4 or 5, I wasn't too far off. You know, I went to bed at 3.30 Tuesday morning. Yeah, I was in bed about 4 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, I went to bed at 3 or 4 in the morning. Yeah, I'm a lot like you. Yeah, you're a lot like me. Yeah, I'm a lot like you. Yeah, I'm a lot like you. Latest, I've stayed up until 5.45. Before. I've done that on a few occasions, but that's that's too late. I couldn't wait to see it today. It feels like longer because I'm used to going out yesterday, right? That's right. Starting up again. So will you be out tomorrow? Oh yeah. Alright. Yeah, you'll see me. Okay. Don't know where because I left at 1243 today. Oh, okay. And we normally pull into here to jet like 1.30 or so, but today we were there at 1.18. Oh, okay. So that's why I waited at Somerset. Right. Have you ever driven the early 78s, like the super early ones? Oh, uh, yes. They never have them out here. 7803, I 
Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yes. Bye bye. Yeah, you, you, there is. Yeah, Thank you. That one. They never have them out here. A lot of those 78s are from spring, though. Do you notice? Well, when they get in new buses, they're always at Vic Park or Spring Gardens, and then we get them years later. It's always the way. But some of them 78s are what? Some of them are uh, 17 years old, eh? Yeah. Yeah. The only 78s you see down here is once in a while, maybe. That's right. I hope you get 7890 or something before your retirement. That's the start of the 05s, I believe. Oh, okay. You're right, that is 11. Uh, yeah, 7754, and then on the uh, other route 11, it's 7954. Thank you. You're very welcome. Hi. Oh, because on Tuesday it was not friendly. George, you know I haven't seen my grandma for over 22 days. Wow, where does she live? Red Deer, but she normally comes down to visit. She was on her way back down yesterday from Red Deer, but she turned back and went back, eh? The roads were too icy. How old is she? 66. Okay, is her, is your grandpa still around? No, he's... I don't know if I told you, I lost him in 2018 to oh, cancer. Sorry to hear that. I was devastated. Oh. And the reason why, too, I was so close with him, eh? Yeah. It's kind of like you and Cliff, right? You right. have that connected friendship. Yeah. But with me and him, he wasn't only a grandfather, he was one of my best friends. Yeah. So your grandma, when she drives down, she drives alone, does she? Yeah, oh, but if the roads are really icy, she takes the Red Arrow bus. Oh, is that still running now? Yeah. Oh, okay. They shut it down, but, but now they have to run it again. Okay. Because... Where's the people in Calgary for the Red Arrow? It goes to the airport. It goes to the, uh... What is it? There, uh, somewhere in the northeast. It's. I can't remember what it is. Oh, there's a garage it, in the northeast. Yeah, there's like a waiting area, and you wait for the bus. But hey, if you're not on time, they leave without you. That because that's their schedule, and you don't get your money back. But I'm wondering where the garage is where they park the buses. Ah, uh, yeah, me too. I might do some research on that. But I mean, that goes all the way up to what? Em uh, Edmonton, Fort Mac? Hi. 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 You okay there? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank So George, did you watch Monday night's football? Uh, no, I didn't, but I heard about it. I keep forgetting the games on. I don't get. Oh, uh, Jets are 0 and 9. Did you hear how they lost? Did you watch the game? Highlights. Boy, they lost on the last play of the game. Yeah. That was a 51-yard field goal. Holy smokes! 
New England was able to sneak it out. Well, their season was over a long time ago, anyhow. Yeah. Once you go 0 and 5, 0 and 6, your season's pretty much over. Unless you go 0 and 5 and win the rest of your game. Well, okay. <laughs> that's if you go 0 and 5, that means you're not a good team. <laughs> yeah. If you go 0 and 5 for start of the season, you're pretty much done. Yeah, that's right. Have you driven 54 too? Yeah, that's that. I haven't been on that one yet, so I'm excited if I can get it. Yes. Can you get it today? Yeah, if I go to Shaughnessy. Yeah, that's right. You wouldn't have to wait very long because they're going to have to pay you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, I might go to Shaughnessy with you so I don't have to wait. What if I get off at Somerset? Would I have to wait how many minutes? Well, you'll wait. Just give me a second. So he's, uh, he's at a Shaughnessy station at uh, 1518 and then he's 1526 out of uh, Bradley Station. So you don't wait as long as you did. Yeah, I might do that. What a great phone this has been for me, so... George, I wasn't kidding when I told you this is a pretty good bus. No, you weren't. This is really nice. Very cool. I wish you could go on Darefoot so bad right now. You re so you know when you're on Glenmore Trail sometimes too? These 77s, you can hear the motor really working. Alright. Or when you go on the 14 for a little bit. Like yeah. the South Campus there. I've enjoyed our times together so much. Yeah. Oh, I told my dad that you passed your hellos again. Oh, good. Thank you. And when I talked to Janelle tonight, she remembers you very well. So oh, I'll, nice. I'll say, yeah, I'll say hello. Um, tell her you say hello. Yeah, that's right. So you haven't been
been getting a big load at 430, just a solid one, right? That's right. Yeah, not bad. Only about 12 people or so. Don't you get like, if it's really bad, you get like over 20 easily? Right. I used to. But for some reason, are there more kids going back online? Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe another bus picks them up. That could be. Is they're all loaded from the train, right? That's right. Or maybe the train hasn't arrived yet, so you don't get that. You only get like a seated. That one day when you had 77.83 though, oh boy, you were full. That's right. I can hack it because it's only for 12 and 12 to 15 minutes. Yeah. How is your wife uh, wife doing? Uh, very well. Oh, she's very happy with that new vehicle. And uh, she's doing good. Does she use it quite a bit? Um, we don't uh, like to go out that much. Like yesterday, we didn't go out at all. But if she has to go grocery shopping or something. Imagine if you drive it for 21 hours straight, like the bus. It. We're not allowed to. Uh. We're only allowed a maximum of a 12-hour period. On the vehicle, right? Um, by law. Yeah. At work. We're only allowed a maximum of 12 hours, so we have to be picked up. On the trains, they're not even allowed that. They're only allowed, I think, four, four hours or so. Yeah. And then they have to have a break. No, but, but I'm talking about, imagine if you drove your Ford vehicle for oh. 21 hours. Oh, yeah. Well, it wouldn't be that long because it's only three, just over three hours no, but I mean, if you went all the way to the States. Oh, yeah. Well, we'd probably fly then. Them poor airlines right now are losing money like no other. They sure are. It's almost when you go on a flight, you get a private flight. It's basically your plane sometimes. That's right. Like your own, like no one else on it but you. That happened once actually. Uh, I think that was last year. The guy took a flight and he was the only one on the plane. <laughs> That's, that never happened. I know, right? He took a selfie of himself on the plane. That was so funny. Well, if you, you'll see me on 54, I'm planning to go to Fish Creek on that one. Okay. So you'll, you'll see me passing by. In the neighborhood there. Yeah, that's right. This route is so fun to take with you on it. Plus, it's a very smooth, eh? I see why you sign up for this one. Yeah. Yes, it is. No, when you, uh, like here, normally I get in the fence green arrow on. When I'm driving most of Oh, remember the bumpy roads on 13? Oh. How were the suspense? How could the Jimmy suspension handle the bumpy roads? Were oh, they good? That's it. Were, did they have good suspensions on them? Um, most buses don't. These ones are pretty good. Well, some buses do. Like this one has really nice suspension. And that one I had the other day, I was telling you about. Um, I can't remember what number that was. 
Was it 87 or no? Uh, that was my, yeah. I think that was it, yes. That, yeah, I was on with you, so. Yeah, that was Forty one was quite smooth too. Yeah. This one's amazing. That's how it should be. Most buses aren't like that. Ma'am, wouldn't you love to go on Glenmore Trail and go top speed on this thing? Imagine what that would sound like. I hope you don't mind taking me a little farther. Oh no, it's not Go at all. Good. No. I will most likely be waiting for you at Fish Creek or um, uh, Shaughnessy later. I'm not later sure. In um, in the night time, eh? Towards the night. One of my last buses. Thank you, George. You take care. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Welcome, dear. You take care. Have a nice day. Sorry. Hello. You get your little layover. You get your one-minute layover, then you're out of here, eh? Yeah, not even that. I'm, I'm usually a minute or so late coming in here. Oh, because of the light. Um, well... There's a, um, Nova. Yeah. Oh, he must know you. You wave to him? I wave to him. He didn't see me. Yeah. I wonder if... Yeah, Gary... Uh, uh, Gary uh, driven these. 77th. He drove this one before. Oh, okay. Because I remember I was f uh, filming it, pulling in, waiting for you, and yeah. My God, this has some tap. It does. It does. That's why it's a light. That's perfect. The turbo on this thing, like when it takes off, yeah. you can really hear it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, 7985 is on MT today. You driven that one. Oh, okay. That's a nice one. Yeah. You never get 7790s very often, eh? Oh, there's 50. Yeah. When did you decide that you were going to retire, I wonder? Well, let's see. Uh, close to a year ago. Yeah. Uh, but I was going to go until the end of June 2021, uh, after my holidays. But I've always found that, you know, you have seven weeks off and you find it a little bit difficult to get back into it. And then school's almost done, right? It is. For the year. That, that's right, but the road, sometimes you come back and you get a freak snowstorm in March or April. And I thought, you know, too many years I've done that, and I just want to have a break. If there is a freak snowstorm in March or April, I won't have to drive in it. Oh, and it can be furious, too. 
I've been a Calgarian all my life, so I know how you feel. Yeah. So I just said, no, you know, going into 40 years, everything's good financially, everything's okay. So is Cliff doing all right today? Is he more calmed down? Have you talked to him? I don't know. I haven't talked with him. I don't know what's going on. It's unfortunate he hardly has any plugins down there. I couldn't survive on that because I got so much technology and when I decide to film when I'm home I need my Google for audio. That's right. If I want to do a bus audio recording. Right. So that's that I use, I keep private it for me. I want to keep extend, expanding my bus fleet. Here's an interesting bus I found on the internet yesterday. Guess what it was? What? It was a, um, a DE60 LFR hybrid. Wow. 2010, I believe. Sound Transit, so. Right. I recorded over one hour of our bus ride adventure today. the motor. I can't stop complimenting the motor on this thing. Oh, that's right. These 77s are tough old things, I tell ya. Hey? Built really well. 75s weren't, though. That was a mistake. Thanks for the afternoon ride. Oh, thanks for coming out. I might be back on a little sooner than later. I'm not sure what my plan is yet. So, I'm doing 11 and then I'll take it from there. Well, you won't be back on a little sooner. You'll be back on a bus. Well. <laughs> you jokester. I don't know what a little sooner is. I've never uh, driven one. So, <laughs> oh, remember the old Ryans? Oh yeah, drove a lot of those. Are they the really crappy ones you've driven? What number were they? Uh, 500s, weren't they? Uh, no, not 500s. I remember doing a, a 65, but it had another number with it, I thought. So I'll wait 8 to 10 minutes here for my 11, eh? Uh, that's right. Uh, yeah, not bad. No, no, not bad at all. Hi. Hi. We'll let him come off in a second. There we are. Hi. Oh, are you going down? Sorry about that. That's fine. <laughs> I'll see you later. What a beautiful bus this is. Now you got me going on the number of the, uh, what those Orions were. Oh yeah, we'll talk about it later, eh? Okay, yeah, you're very welcome. But I'll see you uh, in a few hours, eh? Okay, good. All right. What station? Uh, I'll be somewhere. Uh, yeah, not Edmonton though, right? No, no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>